You want to know if there are any emails stuck in the delivery queue of your ESA, but you don't know where to look for them. Well, I'll tell you where. You can run the command top host and then select the first option, active recipients, which is already selected by default. So I'll just hit enter. And there you go. These are the domains. If there are any emails pending for any of the domains, you'll see it right here. Another way of running this command would be to run top host and then active, um, sorry, RCPTS recipients. Well, then you skipped this menu right here when you ran the command like this. Now, for example, okay, let's suppose uh, there's uh, there are two emails pending for uh, this particular host, the CPQ host. Well, then you'll see two right here. Under active recipients, you'll see two because there are two emails pending for it. I'm just asking you to suppose, okay? Just, uh, just suppose, okay, whatever. So if you wanna check what's going on with this host, you can check further information. You can run the command host status and then select this host and then paste it right here. So it, give you, it will give you the host status for the CPQ host. Hit enter, and if it was down, you'll see it right here, and you'll be, okay, so that's the problem. Right now, it's unknown. So it's neither up, it's neither down. So the ESA does not know what's at, uh, its current state. And it's talking about the state in terms of SMTP, connection level, right? And it gives you further information about uh, this connection as well, and... It'll give you information about the last error, the last uh, error that was seen, error host not found, and therefore you see that kind of error. And uh, in this case, it's, uh, oh, I actually uh, disconnected my SMA uh, from the ESA, and this is my SMA's uh, IP address, SM025 for the PVO, and uh, yeah, that's the reason it's, uh, it's saying host not found. Um, apart from this, if you want to check, uh, okay, what are the emails that are actually pending uh, towards that domain? Now, I know already I'm checking for this uh, domain, as, and as I said, we're supposing right now we're just assuming that, you know, uh, that there are two active recipients for it. So let's check out what those two recipients are. If you want to do something like that, you can run the command show recipients, hit enter, and by recipient host, so uh, one is correct, and then we'll enter the host name uh, for the messages you want to show. So I want to check for the CPQ host. Now, in case uh, you're looking for emails that uh, are stuck in the ESA for Cisco.com, you can do a Cisco.com just like that. Uh, or if it's pending for Gmail, you can do a Gmail.com, and then hit enter. Now, in this case, I want to check for CPQ host, and I hit enter. As there are no messages, it's not going to show anything. So I just hit enter to get out of there. Uh, otherwise, if there were any messages, you'll see those emails right here. With the uh, message ID details, you'll see who the sender is, and you'll see the recipient. You got these columns for them, and then you have the subject as well. So pretty cool information uh, from these uh, three commands. Now, for example, there's no way to do this. Now, if I want to check the host status, for example, for, okay, let's check it for uh, the other one. So top hosts, um, active, RCPTS, hit enter. Okay, I want to check for the EUQ, uh, EUQQ. Okay, whoa. Host status. I run the host status command on this, and I see it's an unknown, again, because that's the SMA. Now, in this case, we don't see that error because I'm not sure. I've not checked it recently what happened. So I'm not even sure if I had, um, you know, a spam quarantine enabled for uh, for this. But anyways, that's not the point. Uh, we're not here to troubleshoot that. Now, um, now let's say if, if this is under unknown and we want to make sure that whenever the EUQ.Q is in the unknown state, that would mean if there's a certain domain let's say for example, cisco.com that you're concerned about and you wanna make sure that you monitor it uh, con uh, you know, um, continuously to make sure that whenever it's down, you get an alert for that. Um, I, I don't see any such options available in the ESA. Well, uh, I was able to write a script to go ahead and get it working. I used the script uh, the script that I, uh, that I wrote was actually based off uh, the output that we get from uh, this command host status, uh, the EUQ, 
uh, I'm, I'm sorry, not the EUK, so the host uh, status on that certain domain. And whenever it shows down, I, uh, I, I made that script, you know, to notify the end user. Well, there are multiple ways of notifying, but anyways, that's not the point right now. Now, if you want to check further information about this, you can also do a grep on uh, for, for, for the CPQ host, if that's what it was. Um, the CPQ host, the CPQ dot, okay, whatever. I'll just copy it and paste it right here. And I'll do it on the mail logs. If there's anything in the mail logs for this host, it'll show that information. Whoa, I see a lot of information. I was able to connect to it and then I was getting disconnected. You get the time as well. So for all of this information, you see, we find that uh, we have the date and time right here and the year and what's really going on with this, what happened. Uh, now, if you don't want to check for, so right now we see it for May 6, blah, 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 2022. Now we see a lot of information in here and let's say, I don't want to see for May 6, I want to see for some other date as in what happened on that certain date. So let's say May 5. Okay, so if I want to do that, I'll just run the same command and I'll do a may space space five dot star and then the CPQ host and I'll see it only for May 5. As you can see right here, right? The output is for May 5 only. I want to see how many emails on May 5 for this particular host. I'll do a, a hyphen C at the end, a lowercase c, 1952. Well, this is another way you can get information about a certain host for which you're not sure what's really going on. If it's down, why is it down? It's saying connection timed out. Well, obviously it was going to time out because, you know, I disconnected it. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, there's a lot to it. So I just wanted to touch uh, the basics in this one. Uh, maybe if you have any questions in this regards, please put it down in the comments. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do it now. That helps a lot. And... Um, yeah, like the video that helps with the YouTube algorithm as well. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. You have a great day. Goodbye.